Hey guys and welcome. So today I'm going to switch over to talking about something a little different. I suffer from chronic urticaria and clearly, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm getting a cold or something. Um, I suffer from chronic urticaria, which is chronic hives. So I have been battling it now for about nine months. This is probably my fifth time in my lifetime ever having it. This bout of hives though. I haven't been able to get in control. So for the last nine months, I've been on a high level of prednisone or a steroid, which if you guys have chronic hives, I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. I mean, I've got moon face and all, uh, but nothing has been able to stop it. So as I'm working with the doctors and stuff, I am having more difficulty finding the answers that I need. So I've taken it into my own hands to try and figure out what's going on and why and how to stop it. Now there's a couple things that I already f found that I feel like are immensely helpful for getting your chronic hives under control or chronic urticaria. Um, and the doctors, they just keep pumping me with medications, more medications, more medications, higher levels of prednisone. And I don't know how much longer I can do that. So... I'm going to do a series of set things to see if I can figure out how to manage them myself. Now, in the past, I've had them go away in like a couple weeks, but this one has lasted a lot longer. And you can actually see that some of my <coughs> lips are swollen. So it's already hitting me that way. Now, I've thought about trying sulfite-free diets um, I've tried, I've figured cutting out any biotin or other allergens from my diet could be it. This I am going to do a full week of zero sugar diet. I will leave, um, different recipes as well as images and videos of what I'm making and eating throughout the day. And each day I will update you guys on the progress of my hives with the low sugar. Now I do eat excessive amounts of sugar at nighttime. So I know that can cause a lead up of different bacteria in the gut that might not be very good for you. So this week I'm going to try a zero sugar diet in hopes that maybe something in the gut bacteria is causing it. Now I've tried to take probiotics before and if you do take probiotics and you have chronic urticaria, I recommend stopping the probiotics just to see how your body reacts. Um, but I will be keeping you guys updated. I've also been looking into FMT, which is a fecal matter transplant to help the microbiome. And so I will keep you guys updated on that process as well. As I'm currently working with doctors, um, they are trying to get me to apply for the Zolaire shot. Now, it sounds like it has potential, but it also sounds like it has a lot of side effects, just like all the other medications that they've put me on. Um, and so I am trying to work through my hives and figure out the root cause rather than sticking a band-aid on top of them. So if you guys liked this video, click the like button, subscribe button, and the notifications to stay updated on my progress working through chronic hives. Have a good day guys.